Hello, hello, beautiful, blessed beings. Natasha Monique here, and this is our Tarot and Oracle card reading for the waning Gibbous moon phase. So this reading is going to go from February 28th to right before the last quarter, which brings us all the way to March 4th. So this is about a week, about a week long this reading is going to go. During the waning Gibbous, we are releasing everything that we decided to release in that full moon. We start the waning gibbous phase off in Virgo and then transitions into Libra and ends off in Scorpio. So we started off with that earth grounding energy, releasing things around the home, around our environment. We then go on to that balancing, airy Libra energy, which we're releasing anything that really doesn't deserve, doesn't serve our divine purpose. And we end off in that beautiful watery Scorpio energy that we're just releasing all of the residual junk that's in there. That really just feels deeply about us that we didn't even know that we needed releasing. We're just going to get rid of all of that right before we do our evaluation for that last quarter in Sagittarius. So for this reading, I'll be using Gilded Tarot and a relatively new deck I just recently got, the Spirit Animal Oracle. So this is, I believe, the first time I've used this deck in a general video reading. So this is gonna be awesome and fun. I, I'm very much gonna enjoy this reading. So let's see what messages we have. As always, I'll be pulling five cards, mind, body, soul, and spirit. And then a card from the Oracle deck, which is our messages from the universe. And what do you know during this waning gibbous phase? Porcupine spirit, time for beginner mind. This is like time for a reset, for an actualization of a reset. Let me show you the card here. These cards are really beautiful. I will do a review eventually of these cards, but you see we've got this beautiful porcupine with all these like dream catcher, little adornments all around them. And it's time for beginner mind, letting us know that it's time to just really reset reset and recharge and start things from scratch. Now, this card actually came up reversed, and this is one of the few Oracle decks that does meanings for reversed cards. And since I have not worked with this deck so much, we're going to use the book a bit just to get a more, and look, I opened up almost exactly to the page. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, and it's not, I love the guidebook. It's not long at all. So let's see what the actual protection message is from Colette Baron reed She says, are you feeling prickly and defensive lately and assuming that you will be hurt before you have seen any sign that such a reaction is called for? Perhaps an old sense of guilt and shame is causing you to be cynical and wary where you are meant to be open and curious. Self-protection is a good thing, but you may be protecting yourself from something that will not actually harm you, but instead will bring you abundance, happiness, and love. Ah, that's that time for a beginner mind to reset, to release all of the old paradigms you have about something and reset it, start it anew. Ah, because what harmed you before may not necessarily harm you now. Remember your innocence and you will serve what you have been overlooking. Porcupine quills are filled with air, allowing a porcupine to float in water. Now is the time to let your innocent nature keep you buoyant, going with the flow. Oh, I absolutely love that message. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to work with these cards some more because I love that. That's on point. And I love that she does reversals as well. To let us know, go with the flow. What hurt us before may not hurt us now. 
we, we can rise above it. We can go right above it and rise above it. So what we're releasing with that message is those old paradigms. Release them and let them go. They no longer serve your purpose. That resonates really, really well with me. I hope it resonates with you as well. All right, so let's get to the tarot portion. So our mind, our mental state, we have the three of wands reversed. And now, let's not be afraid to go ahead, go ahead out there and venture out, because we need to release any fears that we've got to stay in. Ah, and see that that coincides perfectly with what is going on in the universe right now, with the pandemic going on, and then all types of rioting and hoopla and everything. We are afraid to go there and go out and be seen and be heard and venture out. So we need to release those fears. That, that are telling us that no, now is not the time to really be adventurous and go out there and build something and formulate something. That is not correct. Now it is exactly the time for us to do that. So we're going to be releasing those thoughts around, oh no, I have to be coveted and have to stay in the house. No, 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 no. You can be out and about. It's perfectly fine. The body, here are fans. That's letting us know to lead by example. The here fans is that teacher, the leader. So yeah, do what it is that you need to do that fills your soul's purpose, but also do so responsibly. Everything that you do, do it in a responsible way, in a responsible manner. So we're releasing that taboo that it's okay to break the rules. In certain instances, the rules need to be followed. Yes, in certain instances, yes, rules need to be broken. But for the most part, rules are there to keep order and to keep civility. So we need to remember that and remember that in our own behaviors, that we need to make sure we are responsible for our own behaviors and we keep civility and rules in our own behavior. So now emotionally, I love this. Emotionally, we've got the Queen of Wands. So we're just releasing anything that makes us feel less than. We don't need it. Like, she's letting us know, I am powerful, I am passionate, hear me roar, I am here, I'm going to be seen and heard. You don't need to ask for my presence because it's going to be here. So release any fear or doubt about you being wanted and being present and seen in the world. Release any fear and doubt around your passions being something that someone else will want to enjoy as well or something that someone will want to collaborate with you on because that's absolutely true and that absolutely will happen you are completely invalid and the queen of wands is reminding you that like yeah you own your sacral you own your creativity you own your emotional state so it doesn't matter what other people feel about you what matters is what you feel about you so finally our messages from our higher self we have the queen of swords reversed so our higher self is letting us know, like, be easy on yourself sometimes. Don't be so judgmental towards yourself. Don't think that you need to hit it out of the ballpark every single time. Because failure, remember, failure helps you to learn the lessons. When you fail, you learn. If we just knew everything all the time right off the bat, we would never grow. We've got to fail so we can learn, so we can grow. So our higher self with the queen being reversed is letting you know that celestial ball, that celestial self is within you. So allow it to just go through the motions. In this human experience, you are going to falter. You're going to make mistakes. So that's okay. Learn from them and keep it pushing. So we've got a lot of internal energies that we need to release throughout this waning gibbous, which I think is fantastic and beautiful. So just go ahead and ground and release everything that does not serve you purpose. Let it go. You don't need it anymore. Have confidence and faith in yourself. Don't be so damn defensive because it's not necessary. Go ahead and venture out. Think outside the box. Don't be so judgmental with yourself. Trust your gut. Trust your instincts. Trust your intuition. And above all, love yourself truly, completely, and unconditionally. So blessed be my beautiful beings. I will see you next time. Mwah.